Okay, so I'm here with uh, Dr. Debbie Ray, and she's going to tell you a little bit about what it means to be a physical educator at the college level. So would you start by giving us your educational background? Sure. Um, I have a BS in physical education a long time ago, mm -hmm. and then uh, I took a, a little bit different path. I didn't do my master's and doctorate until after I'd been teaching for 13 years. Went back and got both of those um, a while back, and so now I've been an educator for 34 years. Okay, and so tell us a little bit about what you're doing now and kind of how you got there. Okay. Uh, as I said, when I got out of school a long time ago, um, I started off as a secondary physical education teacher and coach. I did not start in the physical education setting. I actually had a second degree in English, mm -hmm. and I also had a degree in health. So um, I started off in the classroom teaching English and coaching. Then I moved to physical education in about my sixth year and did that and coaching until I decided I didn't understand my kids' heads. Mm -hmm. So I went back to school just to do a course in sports psychology and realized that I love being in school again. So I decided to quit my job and go back full-time as a graduate assistant and do my master's and, and doctorate back-to-back. -back. Both of those were in sport and exercise psychology with my other emphasis being in pedagogy. When I finished, I felt like I could do two things play a lot and mess with people's heads. <laughs> so what I did from there is I, I went into the university level training teachers and uh, felt like that one of the things that is not necessarily, uh, it's not a weakness, but it's just not something that teachers have a lot of time to do is to prepare their curriculum. So one of the things that I've done in my next few years is develop curriculum for teachers so that uh, they know developmentally how to go through with all three areas of cognitive, psychomotor, and social skills. Um, and then try to prepare my teachers the same way. So my jobs have kind of evolved, but now in the position I'm in at TCU, um, I prepare physical education teachers. I'm the associate dean for our college. And so what that tells you is, is that you never know what path you're going to take mm -hmm. or what you're going to do with what you do. Okay, and so what are the parts of your job that you really like? <laughs> I love that uh, every day is a, a new day. I wake up that way anyway, so for me to have a new day is good. Uh, I do think that at the university level, um, especially with me splitting my time between associate dean and, and preparing physical education teachers, that a lot of stuff comes up in between that I, I won't know. It's not on my schedule, it's not on my calendar, but it will definitely, I'll have fires to put out every day. Mm -hmm. So, uh, But I like that because I like change. I like having these new days every day. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to say anything about your research? Do you Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, from a research perspective, uh, one of the things that I started with with my master's and doctorate was body image issues. Mm -hmm. And to this day, I still... Uh, am crazy about working on body image issues, but I've uh, expanded it from strictly eating disorders to now working the eating disorders all the way to obesity and uh, looking at stereotypes and biases and things like that. Uh, but my other area is motivating kids to be personally responsible and physically active for the rest of their lives. And that's all I do is try to help others to do the same. Yeah, and that's a lifelong endeavor, isn't oh, it? Oh, my word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are there any parts of your job that you don't like as well? You know, I'm one of those people that I, I, I'm I not unhappy with what I do. So mm -hmm. I love what I do on a daily basis. Um, there really isn't anything about my job I don't like. Uh, I would say that there are times that I work more than I probably should. Mm -hmm. And I think that for anybody that is um, driven by wanting better for everyone else, that's what you do, is you work hard hours and long hours. I would, I would say, though, to anyone that's thinking about this field, and this is what I say in any talk that I do, and that is, if you're going to do this field, do it for the right reasons. Don't do it because you want to coach and be out there just working with the, the kids that love to be athletic and mm -hmm. moving. You want to do it because you got 
the majority of the kids that don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're out there for. So if this is the field you want to go into, you take it seriously, you go out there and you do it right. Well, thank you so much. Excellent.